Okay, so now on to the question about how to um, get your parts over to uh, your CNC machine. And I'm going to work off of this design um, just because I had, the other one was giving me some problems and I'm not sure why. But this, this is going to be a better example of how and when it works right. So some people use a mesh mixer to flatten parts. So like these fuselage sides are curved and that's great, but mesh mixer is going away. So I don't know when, but it's slowly going away and supposedly um, AutoCAD is integrating all of those functions into uh, Fusion. So this is actually a 440 byte with Doc Matthews um, drew up and had uh, he it, it was uh, put it in RCM magazine and and then Ace actually kitted it and so I kind of wanted to recreate the design with a little bit of differences. One is I have these aluminum cabanes and then I'll put interplane struts for the lower wing um, that I started working on here. But anyway, um, let's just look at the fuselage just because that's what we. You know it's going to be a lot simpler to what we want to do now what i like to do is create a, a component that's going to hold all the sketches for our um our 3d or our cad parts cnc parts so let's go up here and create new component and i'm just going to call this cnc parts Okay, and there we go. We have a new component for CNC parts. And on, so let's take this piece off. So all these little flat pieces, um, like this right here, are super simple. All I do is I create a sketch, and I, I, I created it on that plane. I had it selected, and I just hit Finish Sketch. But that's it. That's all there is to it. So now when I turn that off, you can come down here and you can see this sketch is the shape that we want. And it, you don't have to draw any lines or anything. And then you'll just come up here and then you'll, you'll, uh, diesel. you don't want to have it selected there. So you come up here and you go save as DXF. And then you're going to save that wherever you want to save it and you know I'll call this cockpit floor and put it in the right folder when I'm ready and that's it then you take that DXF and you dump it into Lightburn for me for my laser or whatever CNC uh, software you're using I know Fusion actually will drive some controllers and there are ways to do that which I'm not familiar with but uh, I, that's some of the next things I want to learn. Okay, so that's how we create the simple flat surfaces. But then we go, what about this fuselage, which is curved on the sides? Um, you know, we're lucky because this one's flat, but this piece is curved, so we'll have to do something different there. So for that, I'm going to click on this left side, and I'm going to make a copy. I'm going to hit copy, and then I'm going to hit paste. And we're just going to leave it right there, and let's turn the fuselage off. So now all we have is this this shape right here. Now I I won't go in too heavy into the sheet metal rules, but there are lots of things that apply to this. And if you don't have a rule set up for plywood, then it, it'll go to a, a metal. And like this curve, there's a lot of things with curving materials called k factor like how much stretch happens right here on this curve when you go to create this bend well plywood doesn't have much you know if any at all so i i created one for plywood let's go to sheet metal rules and so i have this one plywood let me click on my edit button here and you can see i have plywood that's my thickness miter rip seam gap thickness K factor one and all this other stuff I didn't do I just let it be because I'm not making real sharp bends or anything so 
you can try and copy this and see how it works for you. If if it doesn't, there's a lot of other videos on fusion sheet metal environment and stuff that I don't know. But this is what works for me. So now what we need to do is we need to convert this to a sheet metal part. And there has to be a flat surface in order to create a sheet metal part. Like all this is curved all the way back, so that won't work. But we happen to have a flat surface here. So I'm just going to select that face right there, and I'm going to go up to create sheet metal or convert to sheet metal. And since I happen to have this thickness already in here, see it says thickness detected, I hit OK, then it automatically converts it to the plywood that I have built in to, the, um, to my uh, deal. So you can see, oh, it actually converted it aluminum it converted it to steel which that's fine for this there's not a lot of bend here wonder why it didn't create it to plywood don't know let me go back and, and see let's go here convert to sheet metal thickness detected and I think I can go in there and actually change what it is but that's okay this this is gonna work all right, now I want to unfold this so because I want to flatten this out in order to get, you know, all these, this dimension, this length dimension, all accurate and accurate where all these notches are and everything. So I'm going to go up here to unfold, and it's asking for a stationary entity, like what's going to be, if we were to put this in a brake or a roller, what's going to be the flat part, and that's going to be it. And I'm going to select unfold all bends. So now it creates this right here. And then I go OK. And so now it has this flat piece, as you can see. So then we just go back to our step where we create a sketch on this face. And here it's only selecting this. We want to make sure we get this as well. So I'm going to hit Project, and I'm going to select that. And select this so we have this entire body selected I hit finish finish sketch and let's turn the body off and now you can see we have this sketch we can go in here and take this line out let's go edit sketch like I you can take it out in your CAD software or here it it, it works either way um, let me see if I can delete that like I want it there we go now we go finish sketch and there we go. That's all we need. And then we just export this as our fuselage side. And that works. And then we, we can change the definition or the title of our sketch. And then you're gonna export as a DXF like we did the other one. Let's make sure it's not selected. Maybe if I turn it off, there we go. So yeah, save as DXF, and we'll just take that into our software and nest it however we want to. So that works for that that had a flat part on the um, on the the body where we could create a uh, a converted to sheet metal. But if we go back to this, I'm gonna go refold faces, and that's gonna put everything back to normal. It unfolds all that. Okay. Now, this part right here doesn't really have a flat part. So let's create a duplicate of that or copy of that. So we're gonna go, go up here and I'm gonna copy. And then of course paste. And there we go. Let's turn the fuselage off. So now we have, let's turn that on. Now, this might be flat right here, but I doubt it. See how it's got this constant curve. And so the trick, you can't convert it. You can't convert it to sheet metal because sheet metal wants a flat surface. See, it says can't calculate bo body thickness. So select the base and so it's not going to list. So we have to create a base for our sheet metal part to be created. So I'm just going to select this little face right here. And I'm going to extrude it, and it really doesn't matter how much. So, But what that does, you have to use extrude and not offset face. 
Because if you use offset face, as I've shown in my other videos, it's just going to follow that curve. So now if we select that face and we go convert to sheet metal, now it's going to convert that to sheet metal. Now we have a sheet metal part. See, it changed it to sheet metal. Now if we go here to unfold, we're going to select that, select all bends, and if you notice, it automatically unfolded it. So now it's a flat piece. We select OK. This is unfolded, and we're going to come over here and create our sketch. We don't need this part for when we cut it out. We only need this. So I'm just going to select that face. That's all we need. I'm going to finish my sketch. We'll go ahead and refold faces. Let's turn the body off. We're going to go down here and select that sketch. And there you have it. There's your flat part. I hope uh, that helps everybody and at least get started with Fusion and at least get you to the point to where you're not afraid to mess with it and start doing some tweaking. Uh, this is going to be the last of dealing with the whole uh, scout plane. And now what I'm going to do is focus on just different studies like creating uh, curved turtle decks and curve, other curved surfaces on fuselages and different building techniques that some people use and how to draw that up in Fusion. Anyway, I hope all this has been helpful and I'll, I'll start posting some other stuff soon. And if you have questions, please feel free to ask. Thanks.